this year, her teacher and speech pathologist came to me and was like, hey, some other kiddos in our class are trialing this new eye gazing the communication device. Do you want Sawyer to trial it? I'm like, oh my gosh, like an AAC tablet has never worked for Sawyer because she's obsessed with her iPad. Her iPad is her comfort. Her She watches the same little super simple songs and like Mickey Mouse episodes and same thing. All that, like whenever she would try an eye gazing communication device, she would like try not find her thing and then she'd just throw it, you know? So I was like, I don't like, sure, like you know? Yeah, I'm like, sure. I mean... I feel like you guys are going to get frustrated with her, but like, by all means, try it out. And then her teacher sent me a video and was like, Brittany, oh my gosh, like she understands more than, than we realize, I think. And I'm like, really? So what it is basically is it's like, so it says the word, it has like a little picture feelings. So it has like a little picture expressions. Okay. So, so then she could say, I like that. so she looks at it. And there's two little dots that eye gazing isn't on right now, but there's two little dots that when it lights up, all she has to do is look at whatever she wants. So another good example on here is like, that's our literal TV. So if she wants the TV turned on, she'll look at that. That's one of her favorite toys. You know, that's Zion. That's her chewy. Like <laughs> Zion also loves to like put random things and his random toys in here too and like talk to her about it which is so sweet and precious but mm -hmm. so there's some funny things on there too but um anyways so when she first started she first used the device her teacher sent me a video of they took all the distractions away and so this is this stand actually came with it but at school they have another stand where it's like a claw to like a table you know, it's not like a stand-up one, but it's just like claws on a table and then it's like right there. Yeah. The stand, I think, makes all the difference in the world. If she was holding it, it would remind her of her iPad. You know, I think why this really helps and why it works is first, what we had to do is we had to eliminate all distractions. No iPad, no TV on, not give her her Chewy, not give her anything where she's just kind of forced to like tell us, you know, what she yeah. wants or whatever, or yeah. look at what she's thinking about basically yeah. is what how it works is and that kind of like an aba thing in itself it sounds like you're kind of like a behavioral yeah you know i mean makes sense yeah right? <laughs> yeah we don't use it in an aba style but to get her to use it that's what i mean yeah that's we did yeah. yeah we just have it out all the time for her and she'll go up and look at it but i will say when the tv is on or when there's distractions He's not going to look at that. So you kind of have to remove the distractions if you want her to say something. However, we have worked really hard at the stand, you know, goes up or whatever, and it can like go up to her height. And so when she's jumping on her trampoline, we have it next to the TV so that she can, and she has communicated to us, even while she's jumping on her trampoline, even while she's watching the TV, she's communicated, you know, how she's feeling or dad or Zion, if she wants Zion in the room or I'm chewy or all done or stop. 